Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do an ETA problem. Um, and this ETA problem is going to involve a voyage from uh, uh, Costa Rica to Los Angeles. And, um, but not only are we going to be uh, underway for 3,150 miles, okay, at 14 knots, but we're also going to stop along the way to bunker. Uh, so this mileage includes getting to Cologne and then, you know, continuing on. So we're going to stop for 24 hours, and we're also going to transit the Panama Canal, and that's going to take 12 hours. So this is the total mileage for the whole voyage, but during that voyage, we're going to stop for 24 hours, and we're going to have to transit for 12 hours in the Panama Canal. So what we're going to try to do is figure out, you know, if we leave on this day, this time, what, when will we arrive? So we're going to break this down into, um, you know, kind of a couple of different things here. So what we're going to do over here is first we're going to do is we're going to calculate the uh, voyage. Okay. All right. So how long will the voyage itself take? All right. So that's going to be uh, the first part we're going to do. And then over here, what we're going to do is then we're going to um, uh, take that and we're going to start to uh, put that through a sort of a calculator and figure out when we're going to arrive. Okay. So, um, First thing, the distance, okay, is uh, 3,150 nautical miles, all right? And our speed, okay, is uh, 14 knots, okay? Well, if we uh, 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 take the, uh, the, uh, the distance and divide it by the speed, that's going to give us hours, all right? So our time here is going to be, if we do that division, that should be 225 hours, all right? That's great. So, but uh, that's the actual time that we're steaming. But we also are going to be 24 hours in Cologne. So we're going to add uh, 24 hours there. Okay. And we need to add in 12 hours for uh, messing about in the Panama Canal. So that was um, uh, 24 hours for bunker. This is underway. Okay. Um, and uh, this is hours, by the way. All right. Let me just make that a little bit neater for you there. All right, that's a little bit messy. That's ours. It's <laughs> still messy. Sorry about that. Uh, and then another uh, 12 hours for transit. So when we add up 224 hours, um, you know, operating under the engine, uh, 24 hours in transit, uh, in bunker, and then uh, 12 hours of transit the canal, uh, that's going to be a total of 261 hours. Okay. So our total voyage, 261 hours, that's the voyage time, okay? So now what we're going to do is um, we need to divide that by 24, okay? Because we're going to take hours, now we're going to put that into days. So there's 24 hours in every day. So if we divide this by 24, okay, that's going to give us uh, 10.875 days, okay? 10.875 days. So great. We're going to need that 10. Okay. But now what we got to do is we got to take this 0.875 days and we got to convert that to hours. All right. So uh, how are we going to do that? Well, what we're going to do is, is uh, there are 24 hours in a day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply the 0.875 times 24, just the 0.875, not the, not the uh, 10. And when I do that, I'll get 21 hours. Okay, so it's going to be our st our voyage time is going to be 10 days, 21 hours. And of that, 225 of those hours are going to be, you know, using the engine. 24 are going to be sitting under the dock. And then, well, we'll be using the engine for some of this uh, going through the canal. But anyway, okay, so there we are. That's our total voyage time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, put that into a calculator, uh, a computer, and uh, we're going to start with the zone time for where we started, and we're going to end with the zone time for where our arrival is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into four columns. There's going to be the month. There's going to be the day. There's going to be the hour. Okay. And there's going to be the minute. All right. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the zone time for my departure. All right. So where are we starting from? Uh, it is January, so that's month 01, okay, so that's January 28th, that's the day, okay, and we're starting, 
Uh, let's see here. Where, where's our departure time? Ah, 1836. Okay. So that's 18 hours, 36. I broke everything up. Okay. Now, uh, that's the zone time that I'm departing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert that to Greenwich time. In order to do that, though, I need to apply my zone description. Okay. So my zone description, all right is in this case it's plus six so uh, if i want to get the gmt i have to add six hours so gmt that's 36 minutes i add that here that becomes 24 hours this is 28 uh days oh one okay so now but 24 is a strange number uh that's really um uh that's a day so what I'm going to do here is that this is going to become 0, 0, 36, and I'm going to add a day here. So that's the 29th of January. So in GMT time, I just took the 24, I converted it to a day. So I took 24 from here and I added one over there, and that's how I got that. Okay, great. So that's GMT time. Okay, now, what I want to do now is I want to apply my voyage time. All right. So my voyage is going to be uh, 10 days. So I'm going to put the 10 here, 21 hours, and no minutes. All right. So now I'm going to do another addition here. So what is uh, 0, 0, and 36? That's 36. That's 21 hours. Uh, this is 39 hours. And this is 01. Okay, great. So we're doing pretty good here. All right. Um, but... Uh, 39 days, uh, that seems kind of strange to me, all right? Uh, I can't have 39 days, um, because, let's see, this is the month of January, so let's see, January, you, you know, if you use the knuckles, all right, uh, anyway, January has 31 days, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to subtract 31 from here, and, uh, what I'm going to get is 36, 21, so if I subtract 31, I should get, uh, 8, okay? And uh, but that's one month, so now we're in February, so it's, um, uh, uh, so in terms of GMT, all right, I'm going to arrive in, uh, in my new port, which happens to be Los Angeles, okay, my port of arrival, after I put my run time in there, okay, uh, that's my voyage time, I should arrive on February uh, 8th at 2136. But that's in Greenwich time. So now what I need to do is I need to convert that to zone to zone time uh, for local time. So I'm going to apply my zone description again. So they tell me that my zone description here is plus eight. Okay, so that is plus eight. But I'm going from Greenwich to local time. So it's plus eight to go from local time to Greenwich. But now I'm going from Greenwich to local time. So I actually have to reverse the sign. So I'm going to subtract 8, okay, from 21. And what I'm going to get now is uh, if I take 8 from uh, 21, I should get 13, 08, 02. So uh, zone time for arrival, okay, zone time for arrival is going to be February 8th at uh, 1336. And that is the answer to this problem.